it's been a hot minute since I said anything. Uh, I don't even know when the last time was, but it's been a hot minute. Um, my life went to shambles for a second there. It was fine. Uh, <laughs> literally the past week, I haven't been able to do anything uh, that I wanted to do. Because, like, my brain wouldn't let me do anything. Other than focus on bad things and panic, anxiety attacks, uh, and then just read. <laughs> That's all I could do. Uh, but I, I, I was reading, but I couldn't, like, film myself reading. Because I just couldn't. So, I don't have much to show you from the past week. Um, but I don't have much to show you because my car decided to kind of die kind of it's still drivable um but not for much longer i wouldn't have thought uh it went to the garage to be checked over have a look at and they said that it would need the catalytic converter probably done on it uh because it was fine it it literally just had its mot okay it's just had its mot um and then i also like four days before this took it into the garage so they could fix a little bearing or something on it because it was making an awful noise that was fine and i was like okay maybe end of the year i'll get a new car lol no i guess not uh yeah <laughs> i can't believe it sod's law isn't it um yeah like it's still drivable like i said she is fine uh, until you get to like 50 miles an hour and then it starts going really sluggish and she doesn't really want to get any quicker and it takes a while to get quicker. So I didn't want to drive it because I didn't want to be stuck at midnight, you know, side of the road. Um, so my dad had been driving me into work before I got a new car. I've got a new car. I am in said new car. Um, it's red. I don't like that. Mm, I, mm, it's such a weird thing of mine. I cannot stand the colour red. I hate it with every part of my being. It's just not for me. Bright reds anyway. Burgundies, dark reds. Fine, they're great. But really intense, bright reds infuriate me. I cannot stand them. Lo and behold, I get stuck with a bright red car love it love it um i went and looked at a bunch of different cars and they were all terrible the clutches were bad on them they did not feel great the engines were rattly as fuck uh this was like the fifth car i looked at and it was pretty decent it handles really nicely it seems great it was just a lot of money they didn't have <laughs> so now i have to try and get rid of my car um and hope that someone buys it within a week um <laughs> so i can have some more money back you know because I, I did i could not afford getting a new car right now it's fine um but that's why i've been absent because it was just so much anxiety so much i hate it i don't like doing it i had to talk to so many people i had to phone people up hmm. i haven't recovered i don't think <laughs> it was awful I hate it so much. Other than that, I'm at work, waiting to go to work. Uh, it's like, what time is it? It's 4.09. I start at half four, I finish at eight. It's great. Um, it would be better if there weren't severe weather warnings. Like, what is my life right now? I cannot stand it. It's too much. Too much in one go. Because new car, I've got to drive home in severe weather warnings. What do you mean? What do you mean? I don't want to have to drive home in severe winds. I feel like I should have stayed at home, but also there's no point. It's just wind. It's not like it's going to be raining and icy and stuff. It's just some wind. Uh, over this whole freaking panic attack inducing shithole week that I've had, I've read a series, I have, uh, called Heart Hassle. I'm pretty sure that's what the series is called by Raven Kennedy. Um, the first book is called signs of cupidity it took me a while to get there the first book is called signs of cupidity and then it's 
bonds of cupidity crimes of cupidity and there's a little novella as well called for the love of cupidity that was great that was so much fun i think it was the only thing that got me through this week without crying because i didn't cry i was close <laughs> but it was so good every single book was a five star it was amazing truly fab and i didn't have high hopes for it because i hated and i still hate with every fiber of my being uh, the Plated Prisoner series by her, could not stand them. They were awful in my opinion. Um, but this Heart Hassle series, it was so good. It was so good. The main character, Emil, I think that's her name, is a Cupid. She's a shit Cupid. She's very bad at her job, but she's also just kind of lonely and sad. Um, she ends up getting reassigned to the Fae realm. Um, the Fae are kind of dicks. The Fae Prince and King especially. We don't like them. Um, but she gets banished. She ends up, like, she's in the veil, right? So nobody can see her because she's a Cupid. Um, but she ends up being pushed into the, like, Fey realm, real realm, whatever, um, by the Fey King with his juju magic or whatever it is. Um, and then, like, a hunt for her because, like, why was she attacking the prince, you know? And she ends up falling onto this island because the Fae realm is split into different islands for different species of Fae. She ends up falling onto a banishment island which have three very hunky men on it. Now, in the book, they're called Genfins. That sounds kind of shit. So in my head, I've been calling them Griffins because they have tails and they're very rugged. And I think when they complete a mating bond, they have wings. So in my head, they're Griffins. But she meets these three guys and they're very hot and she likes them she's never had like human contact before and uh you just kind of watch them get into a cute little relationship and shit uh try to overthrow the monarchy because the monarchy sucks form the little bonds you know uh she ends up with another mate as well uh called okot i think uh he's some other kind of weird little bull creature thing human hybrid whatever it's a whole time Love me a good reverse harem book, obviously. So I've been reading that and it was very good. Very good. <laughs> um, and it's like very happy ending. The novella especially. It's like a cute little holiday type thing, like Valentine's Day. It's fab. So good. And it was so fast paced as well. There was no like unnecessary dialogue or things happening. It was just so good. Perfection. Honestly, wish I hadn't read it as quickly as I did. But here we are. Um, other than that, I've been trying to read slash listen to the Cat and Mouse duet by H.D. Carlton, uh, Haunting Adeline and Hunting Adeline. I did read them a couple of years back last year, I can't remember. Apparently I didn't enjoy them because I gave them three stars then as well, um, but I've been trying to re-listen to them. Uh, I think I got maybe four hours in to Hunting Adeline, Haunting, I don't know which one's first. I got like four hours into the first one. Terrible. <laughs> it is so bad. It's not for me. So um, I very promptly returned those for my Audible credits again. Uh, and I went on to listening to Crossed by Emily McIntyre. Because that's another book that was on my list. Uh, we're going to see how that goes. I'm like an hour in. So I'm going to listen to some more of it tonight at work. Um, hopefully it's better. Maybe I'm just hung up on Heart Hassle though because it was so freaking good. Like, so freaking good. Oh my god. So good. Also, been reading, what is it? By, is it Powerless? The Chestnut Springs series. I think it's like book four. It's, I think it's Powerless. It's the purple one. <laughs> I'm doing so good. Uh, that has been fun. So. All I want to do is keep reading that. I have like maybe 30 pages left and then I'm finished. So maybe the reason I'm not enjoying the audiobooks is because I have such good reading books at the minute. I don't know. Um, but yes. That's why I've been absent. Because my life fell apart for a hot second there. I didn't enjoy it. Because I thought I would have until the end of the year to get a new car. And then it was psych. Now. We need a new car now. So I don't, I don't know when these videos will be back to how they used to be. Um, me going out doing things, having a fun time, you know, actually being no good at this. Uh, but I'm still, like I said, very wound up about it. I haven't quite calmed down all the way yet. 
I think yesterday, but kind like kind of yesterday, halfway through it probably was maybe the first time in a week that I hadn't been like, oh my god, freaking out, what the hell, oh my god, my life, money, ah, you know. So he's hoping that uh mid next week I'll be back to normal. Oh my god, they are bright ass lights, bro. You're killing me. But yeah, he's hoping. So I'd like to get back to normal. Anyway, uh, I have to go to work now, which sucks. Major ass. But we do what we must.
Thank you.